What's going on YouTube? Earth Power here with CVH. What's up guys? And we've got another This Week in Kaijudo for you. This week we had five more KMCs. It was the last week in the KMCs this yeah. season. Yeah, and uh, we'll tell people where we went this weekend. Well, Carl and I decided, last minute decision, to head on down to Fort Mill, South Carolina. Woke up at 4.30 a.m. and took the five hour drive. Props to Carl here for driving us both. Yeah. Uh, I built this a mono dark Kalima deck that you can see on Prophecy TCG's YouTube channel. Yes, Carl, shout out to uh, Mark Wooten for the inspiration for the deck. Indeed, Kalima's gains popularity. Uh, Carl, you won. You got first I did. place. I did. I won. We had a 13-man tournament. Uh, okay. The majority of the NC guys were there. Jeff, Drew, and Alex. Rob sadly had a family thing going on, but uh, he would that is. Was. Yes. And uh, myself and Jeff got our invites. Mm -hmm. Jeff was running Light Water Dark Tempo. Took second place to me. I think you played him in top four. I did. And uh, he, you, I guess you wound up giving it to him so he could get his invite, guarantee his invite, and then uh, he wound up giving me the flight. But we did record our final match. And you have a top four deck was like a Firelight Rush deck, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, Trevor, I can't remember yeah. what his last name was, but it was really light, light, uh, light Fire Rush. And uh, our match, my myself and Jeff, we have a match uh, coming up on the channel in the next day or two. I'll narrate it for you, and it's uh, it's pretty exciting. Exciting stuff showing you how... Uh, how versatile a bottle really is. Um, That's one word. Yeah. <laughs> so, Maine happened this weekend as well. And uh, shout outs to Dave for top four in that one. They had about 30 people. Uh, Alexander Hugh Sam actually wound up winning the whole thing. Yeah, Dave scooped Alex in top four. Because yeah. our team is just nice like that. Yeah, to get people their invites when they uh, when they definitely deserve them. And Maybe. Chris also top four. Yes. But Alexander Hugh Sam won the whole thing with Light Water Fire Dragons. And it was Willie Doring who wound up one running mono dark wound up running mono dark Kalima and uh, got second place indeed so, shout outs to them also New York happened with 25 people yeah um, I think who got first again Zachary Mangle got first with Zachary a Mangle. Light Light Water. Water Dark Haven with a lot of interesting tech choices like three Finbars Dreadnought three Twilight Archon you can check the deck list on drawforturn.com I think eventually yes and second place was Mike Zeitz who ran also light, it was a Haven deck Light Water Dark Nature <laughs> Haven 53 Haven 53 53 cards Shouts to Boo. You can run 40 cards to be consistent or 53. Everything else is inconsistent, apparently. But he got second place. Congrats to both of those players. Yeah. Uh, what else and happened? Our final, not our final. No, there's two more. We have two more. We had one that happened in California. They had roughly, I think, a little over 20, between 20 and 30 people show up for that one. And Jeff Garcia wound up winning the whole thing with a, a deck that we don't know. I'm not quite sure what he was running. We couldn't find that out. Something out. So, also, Jeff, I think Maine was the one with the most people, right? 30 some yes, people? Yes, yeah. 30 something. I had the most this weekend. We had 13 in South Carolina, and then uh, the next one that we're going to get to, Utah, had 8 people. I thought it was going to have 3, but then, like, as the updates kept coming in, we got more people. Thank God, that would have been awful. Yeah. So. But they had 8 people show up for that one, and uh, Dave Butler wound up winning that with Light Water Dark Tempo, and Zach Bird got second place with Blurple. Meanwhile, Rob Gruber had 54 people for his dual day. Shout out to him. Check out his uh, Facebook profile and ask him what one, because we don't know, but got a lot of people also. Yes. Felt like it deserved mentioning. Yes, for sure. Um, in other news, the entire set of Invasion Earth has been spoiled. You can go to kaijudo.com to check that out and get uh, start playtesting, start getting getting ready for it. It comes out November 8th in literally uh, five days, so four days. Yep. So Brand new set, guys. Going to shake things up right before the championship, so stay on the lookout for uh, any updates from us. We I'm sure we'll be testing. testing. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be testing some stuff here on the channel and uh, giving you guys some insight on our thoughts of the overall set, as well as uh, stay on the lookout for a video where CVH and I go over the entire KMC season, all six weeks. Shout out everybody who won, all the second places, and then uh, as many of the decks that we know actually won. Maybe we'll do a set review too. That'd be fun. Yeah, we feel like we have my channel leading. You know. Yeah. No, for sure. All right, stay on the lookout on his channel for a set review of Invasion Earth, much like we did for uh, Shattered Alliances when it came out. And then uh, the same thing with the KMC thing. We did a video for that. It was kind of like a discussion video, kind of like what we used to do for DM. Uh, we did one of those for last KMC season, so it'll be similar this time where we just take an hour and just kind of shout everyone out and just talk about trends as the six weeks progressed. Well, maybe not an hour because there's less weeks, but you know, we'll right. there. Right, we'll talk about it all and give you guys all the information so you guys know what to expect, hopefully, from the championship and everybody who will be attending it. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the championship, they gave us a little bit of an itinerary. They did give us a little bit of an itinerary. Did you write any of it down on that notepad that I've been looking at? Nope. Okay. Well, on Saturday, uh, the LCQs are happening. Yes. Uh, but first, there's going to be a panel. This time is not just for KMC uh, qualifiers. It's open to the public. So everyone's going to participate in that. 
And uh, after that, they have something lined up for the KMC people who have qualified, like yes. us, but they don't know what it is. Well, they haven't told us what it is, of course, they know, but we don't know what it is yet, so we're just going to be surprised. Meanwhile, the LCQs are going to happen. There's three of them, top two in each event, get qualified to the championship the next day. Yes, and Gorby will most definitely be competing at those LCQs to get his invite and hopefully be competing with us that Sunday for a, a Team Peach Top 5, as it were. Yeah, that'd be sweet. That's what we're going for. Mm -hmm. Reddish doing coverage again, of course, so shout outs to him. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be looking forward to uh, all that here in the coming weeks, so stay on the lookout. Um, so yeah, that's pretty <laughs> much it. So, stay on the lookout. We've got my match versus Jeff. Flops. We've got some more flops. flops. Yeah, some fun with Ultra Pro products where we uh, review all the Ultra Pro products that have been coming out over the past couple months. We might even go over just, I don't know, everything. So I know on the docket we've got the Satin Tower, which we'll be talking about, and then we'll be going over Kaijudo Sleeves. Sorry. So stay on the lookout for that, and then uh, we'll be doing some more after that. So It's a fun segment. I enjoy doing those. Indeed. So stay on the lookout for those. So Jeff Gray, or not Jeff Gray, <laughs> Jeff Gray, my match with Jeff Gray. Uh, more flops, and then we've got more flops the, and twicks. Yep, a set review coming up on his channel. Set review. Another twig next week when we get um, inevitably more information, hopefully regarding the championship. And then uh, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, you ran out of breath, so I can't see a review. So all <laughs> that. So stay on the lookout for all that stuff, guys. And hopefully we'll see you next week for another twig this week in Kajudo. See you guys later. Peach. Peach.